guys so it's been a hot second since I've been on here so I was just taking one of my IB tests which I failed but it's fine um you know whatever I already got into college who cares um, I'm going to University of Washington by the way in Seattle I'm so so excited also do you like this look like I'm really into it I've done it a couple of times kind of more natural stuff I mean other than like the gold freckles, which I actually, I actually like really love, but like whatever. <laughs> anyway, so while, before I was taking my IB test, I was talking about Greek mythology to one of my friends. She's pretty great. Um, and she was like, well, you should do this, like a YouTube thing that's like you talking about Greek mythology because it was, you know, cursing, explaining things really weird. And it's something that I do you know, on a regular basis, and I kind of thought it might be funny to share it with you guys. So, um, parents, if you're watching this, turn it off. There's a lot of cursing and weird stuff that's about to happen. Turn it off. So first of all, I'd like to talk about frickin' Aphrodite. So she's, uh, she's so problematic because, like, there's this whole part that's like, I feel like beauty's more than on the outside and, like, blah, 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 and she's blah. Anyway, and I know technically she's a goddess of love, but whatever. Um, so, like, she came from Oceanus because she was like, Hey, sea foam, it's me, Aphrodite. I'm just going to, like, pop myself out of you from this on a, like, clamshell based on the Greek art. Um, and so, technically, isn't she a titan and, like, supposed to be more powerful than Zeus? Which I guess makes sense because, like, love rules all but like not I'm like what the fuck Zeus what the fuck you treat her like crap and she's a lot better than you so that's my first thing because I really feel like Aphrodite should have a much larger role than she does in Greek mythology next um okay so I don't know how to say this name it's either Hecate or Hecate and I'm gonna say Hecate because I've said Hecate my whole life and that's just what I know and that's what I'm gonna do Okay, it's like I know J.K. Rowling's name is J.K. Rowling, but Jesus Christ, I've said Rowling since I was literally before I could like read because I was read, was read to me when I was a child. So I, I can't say Rowling, I just can't. And I'm very sorry, J.K., if you ever see this. I love you. <sighs> anyway, so she was like the only kid from this other set of Titans that wasn't like Kronos and Rhea. It's like, shut up, it's not the most important thing. Um, so, like, she inherited earth, water, and air, so I'm like, she isn't even a fucking major god. She's just, like, some bitch on the side that shows up every once in a while. And I feel like she should have a much larger role, because technically, goddess of magic should be more powerful than literally everybody else. Because Zeus only inherited air, Poseidon only inherited water, and Hades only inherited, I guess, earth? question mark earth underworld get the fuck out Hades like hi you took a little child and you like kidnapped and raped her so now she's your wife no <sighs> anyway so I feel like she should play a much larger role than she does as you can tell I get really intense about these things I love real Greek mythology and I also like love the Rick Riordan books like I own every single one in a hardcover. It's kind of sad, but I love it a lot. So, you know, it's fine. And I understand that they're, you know, not nonfiction, but like, I love them. <laughs> and so I'm basing most of what I'm saying on like real Greek mythology. Next and finally, um, Hephaestus, welcome to the world, you sweet baby child. You deserve more than your mother gave to you. Hera is supposed to be the goddess of like family and marriage and like half marital values. You're a good person. What the fuck, Hera? You threw your child of a fucking mountain because he was too ugly. I feel like Hera should be dethroned by literally anybody. I straight up don't care who it is. Anyone's better. Because I get that you're the f goddess of marriage, but like... Your husband constantly cheats on you with people he's related to. So, gal, what you doing? 
leave that marriage, it's toxic. And then also, like number one thing for a parent, as far as I know, not a parent, 17, can't deal with that right now. But number one thing for a parent, love your child unconditionally. It's the most important thing of all the things for all the parents, because if you don't, it's gonna be really sad and your child's gonna have a hard time later in life. <laughs> so I feel like Hephaestus deserved better. And like, he was only ugly cause you threw him off a mountain. So he got all, you know, disfigured. This is like, if Monkey Man, if you've not read A Fine Balance, you're not gonna understand what I'm about to say. If Monkey Man like found his niece and nephew after they'd been mutilated by the beggar master and was like, lol, you're too ugly. I'm not gonna deal with you anymore, bye. And it's like, it's not their fault. They didn't do anything. They were born, they were mutilated. Technically not by the parents, so it's not exactly the same. But like, come on. So that's my thoughts on um, that part of Greek mythology. If you liked this kind of bitchy rant, uh, let me know and I'll do more of them. I really like them. This is like how I act most of the time. I'm really loud and annoying. That's why I don't have that many friends. Um, but like, I'm down. I really like doing this. It's not hard. I just kind of think about things and start clapping and your girl gets going. Also, let me know if you like this look because I'm like really into it and like I keep looking at myself because that girl looks fantastic. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Don't know when it'll be, but you know, I liked doing this. See you then.